You can start the measurement tool from the draw menu by clicking on measurement or by clicking on the toolbar icon. You'll notice that the cursor changes to crosshairs when the tool is active. You can zoom in on the image by using the scroll wheel on the mouse and then click on the scroll button to pan the drawing around. Now that the back of the house is in better focus, I'm going to click one time with the left mouse button, or if you'd like to snap onto a nearby anchor point, you can do that by pressing the right mouse button. I'll then drag my mouse up to the property line and click again with the left mouse button. And now I have a measurement for between these two points. I can press the escape key one time to remove the first measurement. There's still a point here located at the back corner of the garage since we didn't back all the way out of the command. And if I click the mouse one time on the left property line, I get another measurement. I can press the escape key twice to get rid of that measurement and still be in the command. I can then click another two points. And there's another measurement. I can again press the escape key two times to get out of that measurement. Or you can press the enter key to exit the measurement but remain in the command. If I want to exit the measurement command, simply end the measurement and press the escape key. You'll notice how the cursor now changes back to normal. You can also get continuous measurements. So I'll start the measurement command again, and if I snap here onto the back two corners of this segment of the house, you'll see it's 16 units, or in this case 16 feet. If I continue, I press the left mouse button again to snap to another point and get another measurement, in this case 19.7. Here you can see the first measurement was 16, the next 19.7, and in green here the total is 35.7. So it will show the distance measured between the points and the total. I'm going to go ahead and measure everything else here and let it show me the distance between each point I set and the total distance. If you need to back up, you can do so by pressing the escape key or by pressing the enter key to exit the measurement. I'm still in the measurement command here, so I press escape now to end the command. Notice the cursor change and I'm done with the measurement tool.